Hey guys, welcome back to Electric Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel, guys. If you have any of the following three codes, guys, the codes you can see them in the corner of the video. I'm talking about, guys, code P zero one two three, code P zero two two two, or code uh, P twenty one thirty five. Stay with us, guys. We'll explain how to do that. We will explain on a two point four multi air engine, guys. And that uh, engine is developed by Fiat Chrysler Corporation. So the same engine, guys, has been used in Dodge Dart, Chrysler 200. It's been used in Jeep Cherokee, Renegade Compass, guys, Fiat 500X, Fiat Toro, and Dodge Ram Pro Master City, guys. As you can see, very popular engine. Uh, so all, okay, these codes, that video should apply to all these vehicles, guys, with that 2.4 multi-air engine. Quick introduction, guys. Every single car we get at the shop, including this one here, guys, we're taking them completely apart and we make more than 200 videos. Why we do that? Simply because our mission in the shop is to save you guys as much money as we can. All we need in return, guys, please subscribe to the channel and like the video, guys. Hopefully you will find the information helpful. Now, if you guys need to buy any replacement parts or tools or the scanner that we use, check out the link in the description of the video below, guys, and you can find all that for a really good price for shipping as well. So. What do we have here? Okay, this is the scanner that we'll be using. This is, guys, 2015, uh, 2015 Dodge Dart. This is the original uh, cover. We have an extra cover that we actually painted. But you have the 2.4 multi air engine, guys, and looks like that. Okay, the video will apply to it. So let me show you what our problem is now, guys. We'll go inside. Okay, we'll go inside. We'll connect our OBD scanner to the OBD port of the vehicle. So where is that usually, guys? It's underneath, okay, right there. Plug it in, perfect. You can see it's all the way in. Scanner is lighting up. Now, what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to go ahead and start the car. Okay, I want to start the car and I'll show you guys how uh, the engine light is on and what symptoms you may experiencing. First, uh, car may not start, guys. It may start easy, it may not start, it may not idle right. It may not have enough power or uh, it may not just have even enough power to move guys okay just barely move it that that's all we uh, might happen in other cases it could be where sometimes works sometimes it doesn't so it's really guys hard to explain that but let us show you what we experience i'll go ahead start the car and i'll show you how i cannot even rev it up guys how how long it takes let's check this thing out now So, you can see guys, engine light is on, you can see we have a, a light for the powertrain, okay, right here as well, that's the light guys, and uh, so obviously guys there is something wrong, what we'll do, we'll turn the car off, never ever start the car in your garage guys, why, because you can die guys, so don't do that, now let me explain guys, okay, what we'll be doing next, we'll turn the ignition switch on without starting the car, you can see the car is not running, the tack is not moving. And we're going to go ahead, connect the scanner, and we'll see, guys, okay, what the problem is. Now, you may have one code, you may have two codes, or you may have all three, guys. It really depends on how the part fell, okay, and what is happening. So, let's check it out now. It just takes a little bit of time. We have two codes stored in the computer. We click OK. Next, now right here. Okay, what we're going to do now, guys, we'll click read codes. Start codes, and what do we have, guys? Code P0123, throttle position, and throttle pedal position sensor switch A, and throttle pedal position switch B, guys. So, what I'll do, I'll go ahead and check the pending code. Sometimes you may get an extra code there that hasn't been long enough in the system to trigger the engine light, but in our case, it's just these two codes, guys. Let me go ahead. Okay, we'll turn the car off. Uh, we'll turn the car off, guys, and I'll show you, okay, what we need to do, okay, to fix that, what you need to check and how to fix it. So let's start on it now. So once you guys open the hood, okay, check it out. This is, guys, the engine right here. And I have the cover already loose, so I can remove it a little bit out of the way. And looking this way, guys, okay, right here you have, guys, your throttle body. Okay, this is your throttle body, guys. Okay, you can see where it's located. This is the one that opens and closes, and the engine gets more air, okay, when you press the gas pedal, so it can actually create more power. 
Now that Toro body, it's a complicated thing. It has a few sensors inside in it. Integrating one is the hydro motor, one is the throttle body uh, gate as well, guys. And things that you need to check, okay? Check, guys, every fuse for the car that says engine computer. Check the connector right here, guys. Okay, check that connector that it's plugged in, that everything is good, okay? And if that doesn't fix the problem, guys, okay? It could be either a dirty throttle body, we have a video on the channel that explains how to clean it, okay, or you will need to replace it. In some cases, guys, but not very often, bad throttle pedal position sensor, okay, the one right there that detects how much gas you give, it can actually throw that cold as well, because they're kind of connected. But in our case, it's a bad throttle body, guys. We'll go ahead and replace it if you want to see the video from start to finish. It's on the channel, so check it out and we'll continue, guys. The purpose of today's video is to see if a new, if a new throttle body will fix our problem. So, throttle body has been replaced, guys. We're re ready to put it together. Okay. The only thing left is the engine cover, but you can even start your engine without it. I want to see now, guys. I want to show you first we're going to clear the codes. Why? Because if you installed even a new throttle body and you haven't cleared the codes, okay, it may still not work correctly. So we'll turn the ignition back on. Now, guys, another thing. If it still doesn't work after that, you may need to calibrate it. Sometimes Dodge requires that. In our case, I, I, I had to do that only on one Dodge journey, I think. Okay, but not very often, guys. Usually you replace it and you're ready to go very uh not very often you will need to calibrate it with a scanner that can do that but we'll have the video on the channel if you want to check it out how to calibrate throttle body rewarm throttle body check it out so we're going to clear the codes codes erasing erase done so i want to show you now i'll start the car i'll be quiet and you can see how it revs up easily hopefully so let's give it a try So that definitely guys fixed our problem, hopefully the video will be helpful, thank you for watching, please subscribe to our channel for more videos and see you guys next time.